speaker, Artem Tereshenko from VAS Experts, and he will be speaking on uh, botnet versus CGNet. Over to you, um, Artem. Thank you. Hello for everyone. Do you see my screen? Yes. Okay, great. My name is Artem. I am from Telecom Software Developer Company, VAS Experts. Uh, right now, I will share a case from our work. Uh, it's about detecting botnet in the network with uh, CGN, carrier grade NAT. Uh, at the Apricot conference, the topic of IPv6 uh, has been discussed in many papers and tutorials. A lot of countries in Asia have great success in IPv6 adoption over the, over the last years. The only correct conclusion is to continue IPv6 implementation and switch to IPv6-only networks step by step. But IPv4 is still here, and we need uh, to work with uh, these and new addresses will not appear. So the operators have to implement uh, CGN and use dual stack IPv4, IPv6 in order to support both version during the slow migration process. CGN brings its challenges to peer-to-peer -peer protocols and online games, but most of them are solved by choosing a carrier grade NAT solution with ILG support application layer gateway. Uh, the main task of CGN is to effectively use the limited addressing space of IP4. When a client receives a private IP, he is able to use 65,000 ports. When the ISP implements uh, the CGN, the subscriber usually gets two, 3,000 ports. If the client reached the limit, then the quality of service degrades because uh, there are not enough ports for new connection. Why would you think that two, 3,000 ports are enough for a subscriber? Uh, this comes from our practice. Usually an average uh, user generate uh, 50, 60 connection at the same time. So in 30, uh, you can translate up to 1000 private IPs to one public IP, but uh, this is actually a bad practice. We recommend it to translate not more than 100 ad addresses, but better is up to 10 private addresses for one public IP. This is will not cause oversubscription of the case when popular services uh, like uh, mail, video, uh, video CDNs or uh, search engines use protection against botnet attacks and network based on IP addresses. The problem is that when they receive too many requests from one address, they consider it is attack and block some requests or turn on captcha which is usually in, uh, in convent for subscriber. According for our experience, two, 3,000 ports per subscriber uh, is optimal, taking into account all the special aspects of CGN. But even if we allocated the ports correctly, there are uh, cases when the client with normal use of services uh, experience quality degradation. Uh, the, uh, this reason can be first, clients, uh, client side, side virus activity uh, that occupies all three ports. Second, uh, this is hacking devices uh, to use them for botnet. So there are also no free ports. Uh, and third, uh, this is incorrect behavior of IO devices. For example, the smart lock or other smart device tries to update the firmware and creates up to 4,000 outgoing connections. Uh, there are two ways to solve this problem. First, this is increase the limits. Add more ports per subscriber, but then you have to use more public IPs. The cost of CGN implementation become questionable. As a result, clients with parasitic uh, activity will continue to experience degradation of quality. Uh, 
Second uh, way to solve this problem, uh, we recommend to be proactive and always carry out additional analytics using the packet inspection system or similar. We analyze traffic, generate the full net flow, build clear triggers uh, to find the problem uh, and work with them to fix the issue. Our task is to re retain the client and increase his loyalty. In this slide, uh, we are analyzing one of the IP address, uh, IP address that had uh, all 3,000 ports occupied. We see that over the last five, 15 minutes, uh, he created uh, more than uh, 10, uh, sorry, more than, oh, this one, uh, more than 100,000 uh, sessions, uh, which clearly stands out from the general statistic. We need to start working with this client as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, uh, he will uh, switch to another internet provider uh, very soon. Uh, triggers for finding these uh, problem clients can be the number of packets per second from the subscriber, uh, average station time, and some other. A lot of clients use the solution uh, on their networks and its work. To sum up, uh, carrier grade NAT is already used and will be used even more by operators in the future but the technology has its own restriction of number uh, of user session. We recommend it to explain the list, uh, we, we recommend it to expand the list of analytics and management tools and keep your quality of service high. Thank you for your attention. If you have time, please share your question or opinions on such a case. Thank you so much, Artem, for your presentation. Let me check if you have.